Okay, hey guys, this is going to be tutorial two of my Python tutorials, and this is going to go over um, basic text file input output. Um, it's actually mostly writing writing something to a text file, and I'll show you um, how you can do that. But let's go ahead and look at my example. Oops. So. Here's my site, and when I make these for what games, like obviously I play more than two games, but every time I want to add a new game, I would have to go through and here's where I edit all my HTML. Um, I have to do block quote, paragraph, uh, bold, end bold, blah blah blah, put the description. So as you can see, our basic elements of this section is we have a bolded title and then a description, and then we have to end all our tags. So a couple ways I could do this, I mean, I could uh, type it out, you know, just like retype everything I could, actually copy and paste this, and then just go in here, change the title, change the description, but since we are so smart and we know how to use Python, we're going to go ahead and do it so that it will write everything for us, and we can do this over and over and over, and it won't ever, we won't have to write certain parts more than once. So how we set this up is we're going to have in here, oops, uh, tutorials. All right, so what you need is, so we need a text file, which I have named text.txt, and then here's just the file I'm working in for my actual uh, script. So we need a handle for the file that we're going to open, and how we do that is we're going to do I just name it txt for simplicity and it's going to be set to a certain value and this value is actually going to be a function which is open and then the parameters are the um, oops, the parameters are the file path the file path and so you do text.txt, um, that's pretty simple. And then this next part, you have to uh, tell the computer if we want to read it or if we want to write to it. And because we're going to be giving the computer information that we want it to store inside that text file, we're going to go ahead and put a W for write and then enter down a couple bits. And then what we're going to do here is do txt.write. So we're going to tell it what we want it to write. And then we're going to be able to add something add something here and then after that we do txt dot close and then you put the open close parentheses so what we did here is we opened up a file it's a simple text file with the handle txt we wrote something to it and then we closed it so we could I guess just for uh, testing purposes save that and then obviously nothing came up in there however if we come over here to our text file add something here and as you can see that is exactly what we wrote right here add something here okay so now we want our script to ask us say we saw the two elements that we need to write in there are a title and a description so we're gonna set title to raw input and we can say just title here and that's going to set the title and then we do description which is going to be make sure I spelled that right description raw input and obviously we can just put description and close that up alright so then this is just going to ask title it's going to ask description and take when then we got to do something with those new variables that we've just taken so get rid of this, that was just for a test. And we're gonna go ahead and do, so we wanna start it out, as we could see over here, what we had is we had a block quote, a paragraph, and a bold. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to uh, your Python script and do block, block quote, oops. And then bold. I know these are old, like, I don't even know if anybody uses any of these tags anymore, but they're, I mean, they're simple, so for this video, they work. And then 
we can do, so once you, this is a kind of a, I mean, it's just something you have to remember. So you can write anything in here. This will be a string. All that's going to show up is this. And then if you want to add a variable in there, which is we want to add the variable title, you have to end your end your quotations, put a plus. You don't need a space. You just do a plus, write in title, and then do another plus, and then go back to your uh, quotations. And then we're going to close the bold tag because this is where we... Um, this is where the end of the title will be because we don't want the whole thing to be bold, we just want the title to be bold. So then we're going to do another plus and then we're going to do this um, description plus quotations again and then we're going to go ahead and close the paragraph and close the block quote and add a line break because when I put a line break in there, it makes it so that they're not all on top of each other. And then we have that, and then we have to um, remember to close oops, close the uh, file just using the handle that we made, dot .close. And then if we go ahead and run this, it should work out. So we do title, let's do, um, I can't think of a game off the top of my head. We'll do like, let's just do call of duty black. Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops. Um, hopefully that's what how you spell ops. And then description is this game isn't yet released, but it looks like fun. I plan on pre-ordering it once I get out of my house and drive to the game store okay and then you go ahead and hit enter that's gonna pop up or nothing's gonna pop up which is good that's the point no errors we're happy we're gonna come into our uh, finder go to our text file open it up and then there is your HTML code copy that paste it into your um, you can just add a line break because in HTML Pressing enter doesn't actually enter a line break, but come in here and let's see how this looks. Test it out in Safari, and there it is. That is exactly how we wanted it to come up. And if I wanted to do another game and another game and another game, actually there wasn't a line break in here, but oh well, there should be a line break right there. But there isn't, but we could do another game and we wouldn't have to write all of those tags over and over. I mean, there, yeah, we could have copy and pasted to say this, but that just, it's fun to do things the, I guess the hard way, but you learned something, so I hope you guys learned, learned something, is that how you say it, learned something? Alright, you guys should go check out my forum, uh, I have a forum designated to Python actually, or whatever languages you guys want, just let me know and I'll put one up for your specific coding language, and... Yeah, hope to see you guys there. Y'all have a good day. Alright, hey guys, one last thing is, I don't know if anybody will bring this up or if anybody even noticed, but if you did set, so just make a random variable, I'm going to use just words, uh, set that equal to what you wanted to write to the text file, and then, oops, we got to close that, and then go ahead and print words, and then, let's see, if... I mean, it's the same concepts, but this will bring it up in here. Oh, let's do blah is a fun game. You could copy and paste this into your HTML file. I mean, or whatever you're trying to replicate the text of. But I mean, uh, this has, I mean, this has more applications in the long run. I mean, this will be faster. This will be easier. But if you think about it, this isn't saving anywhere. This will be on here forever. So let's say... I wanted to write another program saying, like, let's go back to this text file and read it all. I don't know why you'd want to do this, but let's say you did. You would have it here. It's stored somewhere. If you didn't directly copy and paste it straight to your thing, this is stored. This goes away as soon as you exit your uh, exit out of your shell. So, I mean, if you really want to, that's faster, but this, I think, is funner.